Aaron Moriarty dazzles in the hit series The Boys as Starlight. Now the native New Yorker is bringing her star power back home to the Tribeca Film Festival with Catching Dust. The film follows Gina and her controlling partner Clyde, who live in the Big Bend Desert. When a new couple shows up to their commune, everything may begin to unravel. So Aaron, <laughs> this marks your return to the Tribeca Film Festival. Yeah. How does it yes. feel? Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's 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 always it's quite surreal to come back home for anything work-related because we premiered The Boys um, at Tribeca, so that was obviously a really special experience. And whenever family is able to come, it's just, you know, especially like my parents are so supportive and so lovely and everyone is here. Um, and the theater that we premiered the film at last night was a theater that I grew up going to. So there's a personal resonance in addition to just the the inherent gratitude that one feels when they're just going to a film festival because it's um film festivals are such vibrant fun little periods of time because you meet such like-minded people to add your family into that mix makes it very special, personal yeah special, it's really nice special. really nice so let's dive into mm -hmm. the film you said you were drawn to this script what do you think or what do you want audiences to take away from gina hmm i think I think one thing that I was able to take away from just playing this character that I hope the audience will be able to take away from watching her and the other characters is that when I initially read the script, um, I felt sort of, I was excited by it because the role felt so different from me. And I was reading it and the interesting thing is the character of Gina. Um, meets this couple that comes from New York City and they seem so foreign to her. And I ironically grew up in New York City. Yeah. So I had to kind of shed my New Yorker conditioning yeah. and um, characteristics that were more similar to that couple and adopt an entirely different accent and background and having to shed that and then, and then so, sort of step into Gina's shoes made me realize there were still so many parallels between being a young woman growing up in New York City and a young woman be growing up in a small town in Texas. And it, to me, one thing that, that became very apparent is that there are, no matter where you are, certain things that you have to transcend as a woman, whether it manifests in your relationship with your, your romantic partner or societal influences, there's always things that you need to transcend to come into your full identity. So that I found very interesting is my the empathy I developed for that character and that it, seems so different. It's a very relatable situation. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like it could be. I think that's it. Yeah, this, the, the, the exact things that make it so specific um, make it relatable, funnily enough, which you might not expect. Right. So you just filmed season four mm -hmm. of The Boys. You've said that this season is unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> so can you tell us how this season is going to leave people feeling? Oh my feeling? God. I feel like I'm at a loss for words at this point. I like, I don't know what to say. Um, that and Anything I say will be reductive in terms of trying to summarize what we've done in the most recent season, what people, how people can mentally prepare. I will say it's definitely, in terms of the character, it's more character driven and we go deeper into the nuances of each character. So, so every character, when you want to put them in a certain type of box, like my character who's considered the good girl, each character at a certain point breaks out of that box yeah. in some way or another. And that's the whole point of the show is that the good characters are deeply flawed and the bad characters there's a reason that they behave badly. Like their childhood, there's some trauma involved. So I would just say this sounds so simple, but always expect the unexpected because literally anything could happen. So wow. wow, this is amazing. Well, thank you so much for <laughs> thank being you. here today, Erin. Yes. And for screenings of Catching Dust and Tribeca's full schedule of events, head to TribecaFestival.com. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you.